Cold water anglers dream of targeting fully mature salmon during the summer fishery. We refer to this time frame as the hot zone period. And one of the best ways to catch these big kings are with flasher and fly combinations. Whether it's a Pro Troll E-Chip or a Michigan Stinger E-Chip, these flasher fly combinations can't be beat on big fish. In today's video, we show you three of the rigs that are must-haves for catching these fish during the hot zone period. On the back deck of the Rod and Reel Jr. Back at our old haunt during the hot zone. It's the early part of July. We got my buddy Eric all the way in from Pennsylvania. He is locked and loaded on a Dipsy Diver rig. This one happens to be a Fat Nancy Flasher. And I've either got one of the Bill Safe Outdoor Moon Eyes or the Hulk flies trolling behind this. It's been a strong flash here on Kings. So we're coming down the edge of the wall. We're wondering why are we taking these hits on the rigs and not the wire? And bam, 245 on a two and a quarter setting. And Eric's locked up with this big king. He's a dandy. He's way out, went to about 380 on the strike. And now we're just trying to bring him back. You'll notice we haven't pulled any of the other gear yet except the other Dipsy. We're uh, just hoping to double into a king right now and see if we can't get a, a second one going. Okay, let's take a look at our Garmin right here. Let me show you a little of what's going on. You see the 100 foot mark right here. So if you come here, we're running those baits between 85 and 96 on the riggers. You can see these kings that are marking right here. And you can see a ghosting, either a plankton veil or a temperature veil. We haven't run our probe to see what's going on. But you got a temperature break here, you got a temperature break here. And those kings are sandwiched right between them. So we're seeing exactly what we want to see on this 8 inch Garmin. We're planting those rigs right there in that zone, keeping the speed hot. Right now we're down because we're fighting this king but uh, running in the 25 to 27 range to make sure that we're exactly where we need to be for the bite he's coming right in here you got him wind down on him nice nice big shark you're doing a great job what he's doing here with that dips he's over accentuating he's coming up and then winding down under pressure go ahead and wind down again you're doing great you're doing super keep winding on him keep winding it's inevitable everybody the phone rings right when you got a king on you're trying to kill so okay wind down we're gonna keep them right in between these riggers wind down on them again easy smooth All right. easy wind down again wind down get, get me two inches from that flasher okay that's where you want to be wind down easy wind down one more time okay easy raise raise steer him to the right son Wind down, stop. Okay, raise his head. Hey, okay, everybody. Wore him out so he wasn't green so we can handle him in the middle of all the gear. Right here, there's the fat Nancy flasher. There you can see the moon eye fly. That is an absolute money in the back summer fly. Let's get him in the boat. Good job, buddy. There's that moon eye. Look at that fly. Coming on the fat Nancy flasher. Deadly combination, Eric, buddy. Good job, brother. <laughs> Let's get him out of here and we'll show him to everybody. There he is, everybody. Look at the size of this king. He's just a dandy. Coming 255 on the wire. Eric, well played, young man. Thank you, sir. Over accentuate, high, wind down under pressure, and never point the rod at the fish because then you're working against the spindle instead of using the shock, absorb the shock absorber of the rod. Cam Hazner. Good job with the boat, old buddy. Thanks, Billy. Really. That worked good. Jeff Fusey locked right here, playing this fish all the way to the outside. Eric all the way to the left. He's way out on a wire. Jeff's is coming in here right now. He boiled this one. We're into a double. We actually tripled right there. If you come to the kit, we take a look right here. There's a, there's a steelhead laying right there on top we were tripled we had the steelhead high on our number two we had a wire go here with the big king that we're locked up one out over 500 and then this guy hit the flasher fly combination and that was down uh, 85 on the number four rigger you do it again good keep your rod tip high and just hold right there until jeff gets in underneath you 
Okay, perfect. That's it. Okay, you can go after him. We're inside the hot zone here now. I got the net. Go ahead and turn me a little to the left cam and then get her centered. And then you can come back and dip this guy. All right, Jeff. At this point, I'm going to have you stand. You ready? Move to the rail, if you would. Move to the rail. Yep, to the back so that we got room to back up. Hold on a second, Cam. I'm going to turn you. Hold on. You're all the way down, okay? You're all the way down. Okay. Back up. Back, easy. Back up. Get him, Cam. Nice fish right there. Look at that. Lighted. Pro Troll. E-chip. Show me that flasher, Cam. Lighted Pro Troll E-chip, and we put the green on it. That's the dragon, everybody. It's done such. There's the Hulk fly right in his yapper right there. The Hulk, the Chiquita, and the Moon Eye are top three baits, buddy boy. Awesome. <laughs> Hell of a trip. That was great. Beautiful, beautiful. Cam, hold that fish right up and get, pose him with Jeff. Let me get over here in the sun. You guys turn right around this way towards me. Hold that fish right up. There he is right there, a dandy king. Andy King, just an absolute... There's a few flashers that are critical to what we're doing in the hot zone. You know our propensity for running a spoon program on Lake Ontario, especially during the last week and a half of June and the first three weeks of July. Today, the spoons were hitting. They were hitting like crazy, but we were one for five, one for six on the NK28s early, and those fish were coming in and they were nipping on that. So we dropped a flasher fly into the program for two reasons. Sometimes that flash or fly combination will take a bigger class of kings than the spoon will, and we don't talk about that very much. But also, if we run that short on the outside rigger, we can sometimes draw the kings into the pattern, and then our spoons are set above and below, but at slightly longer leads. So the fish will come in. If he doesn't want that flash or fly combination, he'll disengage, drop back, and engage those spoons, and we'll take the spoon bites because that flash or fly combination is in the water. But three combinations that you absolutely must have are as follows. And we're going to start with this one because this is a variation of a Pro Troll E-Chip Silver Herringbone Flasher that we've been running since we were kids on Lake Ontario. You'll notice this one happens to have an LED light. So this strobes when it goes in and it makes contact in the water, it'll actually pulse. Do I think that that was critical in today's fishing? I don't. It just happened to be that I had this set up in this fashion. What we've done is we've put green ladder back on that and we turn that into a bait that we refer to in the Safe Charter Fleet as the Dragon. When you hear us talking about putting a, 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 a dragon in the water, this is exactly what we're talking about. That silver herringbone flash are both sides, but with the green ladder back. During the summer fishery, that's responsible for more kings than I can even think about. You'll notice here the fly that we've got running in conjunction with this. That's our Hulk fly. That is absolutely a dandy. You can see when it inverts that green. I mean, it pulses like crazy. It's a beautiful fly. We murder the kings on everything that we make in our fly patterns, the six basic colors. But the three that we fish most predominantly are the Hulk, the Moon Eye, and the Chiquita. So let's go to flasher number two that you absolutely must have. Here's a Spin Doctor, white green edge. The caveat to this is white with green dots. That up on the wire in the summer fishery, right straight through the staging fishery, is absolutely phenomenal. Now you'll notice the fly that we have affixed to this is the moon eye. I love this fly. This is a variation that we build in our fly patterns because in the old days of fishing Lake Ontario, when Captain George Koga, Captain B2, and myself were working the eastern end of Lake Ontario, one of the hottest Dodger squid patterns was a black oil squid. In the water and in the sunshine, that black squid would have purple, it would have uh, chartreuse, it would have green, black, all those different colors. Well, if you notice in this fly, you've got green, you've got silver, you've got black tinsel. The very colors of natural bait fish in Lake Ontario. We call it the moon eye because we want it to simulate alewives like we talked about 
fish in today's kings. This one is absolutely phenomenal. How well does that work and why am I showing you this bait? Because there are legions of people that think if you're not running green, you can't catch salmon. That's not true. Black is a predominant color in that salmon diet and it's gonna work very well for you. Just like the chartreuse chiquita. Look at this. Here's number three. You've got to have this Fat Nancy Flasher in the summer fishery. Silver on the back, chartreuse and green ladder back here. Today, pounding the kings, look at that moon eye fly. They've absolutely torn it to shreds. I think there's two strips of green left in there and maybe half a dozen strips of silver but basically it's been beat down to basically a black fly and that was still catching fish even in that condition it was murdering those kings through the course of the day 22 inches on the fly behind the short flasher that's critical when you run at eight inches you want to be 21 to 22 inches and nothing more than that but the fat nancy flasher the green dragon on silver and the white green edge spin doctor. All three of those are dynamite on summer king fishing. So keep these in your arsenal, have them loaded. I don't care whether it's Chiquita flies, moon eyes, or hulks. These are gonna get the jobs done. This is gonna get the job done. We're down to the business end of things here. We're at 60 feet. We can see the uh, silver diver coming in right here. And we've got, of course, our fat Nancy flasher with a uh, moon eye behind it. Cam, you wanna come back and take this one? Take this fish, just keep it right in gear. Jeff, you wanna take the wheel? Just, I'll just have you point in a certain direction. Straight, steady, she goes, remember we're on a 15 foot leader here, okay? So we're way, way back on this fish. One of the things we've noticed when we've been running divers here, if we've lengthened that, uh, we've lengthened that leader back out behind the snubber to the bait into the 12 to 15 foot range, we seem to take a, a, a larger portion of strikes. Nice and easy, wind down to the diver. Nice and smooth. A little closer, one more time. One more down, stop. Okay, raise your rod tip. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Back up, back up, back up. Got him, Cam. Nice job, buddy. Keep that. Hold on a second. Let me get that out of there. Get your rod tip high in the air. Okay. Easy. He's caught in it. Don't bend that hook out. Let's take a look at what we've got. Put a bat on him right there so I can control that fly. Careful. Don't hit. Break that hook. There you go. Get that side wash out of there. Just it's hooked by one hook there, Cam. If you can get it just so we don't bend it. I want to show people that fly and how they've demolished this moon eye today. You can see everybody's green, green, green on kings. Take a look at this. There's a fleck or two of green left in that and a fleck or two of silver. And it's basically been beat up today all the way down to basic black is what is what's going on with that natural moon eye fly but anybody that tells you, you got to have green all the time to catch kings i wish that i had a buck for every time that we fished out here since we were kids and caught kings on oil squids behind silver herringbone dodgers black is a primary color of bait it's a primary color for kings and it's not to be overlooked three of the top colors that we make in the bill safe outdoor flies are the green hulk which everybody knows that's going to work great the other is chartreuse in black that's the one we call the chiquita that one is fantastic and the other is the moon eye with the green the black and the silver over simulating natural bait in uh, in Lake Ontario and that's the way it worked buddy boy phenomenal job thank you sir we're all wrapped up brother all right we uh, we got this big guy laying right here on the deck we got a box full of big kings and Lakers and steelheads and browns doesn't get any better than that on Lake Ontario fishing everybody